The iPhone is an amazing piece of technology, especially for musicians, and especially in light of current events that have forced us to stop gigging. A lot of us have been forced to start performing online, whether we're recording videos or live streaming, and we're starting to notice the limitations of that technology, particularly in terms of our smartphones or iPhones. The microphone on iPhone is good for what it is, but what it is is a microphone that's like that big and costs like a few cents. You might notice though that my voice sounds better than you'd expect from an iPhone recording. That's because I'm talking on a Shure SM7B microphone, but I'm not going into a DAW, I'm not going into my computer, I'm not going into any sort of other application. I'm going right into the camera app on my iPhone. How am I doing that? Many of us musicians, whether we're professional semi-pros or rank amateurs, have some kind of USB audio interface that we use for recording onto our computers at home. You can connect that interface to your iPhone and record directly into the video app with it. But you need one adapter and you need to follow a couple of steps that are not immediately obvious. Here is what you're going to need to make this happen. You're obviously first going to need your iPhone. You're also going to need a microphone and whatever cabling you need to get into your USB 2.0 audio interface. That interface is going to need a USB cable, USB A to B, if you're wondering. And you're also going to need, this is the one extra piece of equipment that we were going to need. This is an Apple Lightning USB camera adapter, right? This is going to have a USB A female connector on one side and a lightning male connector on the other side. So it's basically adapting a normal USB cable to go into your iPhone. There are two different versions of this USB to lightning adapter. One is just USB on one side and lightning on the other. And the version that I used for this video has both USB and lightning inputs on it. So that means that you can charge your phone while you're using it to record. The first thing you're going to need to do is to connect your microphone to your audio interface. Next, take your USB cable and connect it to your audio interface. And then take the other end of that USB cable and connect it to your USB to lightning adapter. Now one thing to watch out for is that you cannot plug the adapter into the phone just yet. First, you have to take the phone and open the camera application. and switch over to video. Now, once you've done this, now you can take your USB to lightning adapter and connect it to your phone. If you connect the adapter any earlier, weird things happen with the audio. Most often, you just get no audio at all on your video. Now, I should be able to record using the microphone. As always, you're going to want to test to make sure that what we just did worked. So disconnect the adapter from your phone and play back the video you just recorded. should be able to record using the microphone. Like I said, there are a few things that are a little counterintuitive here. One is that you must absolutely follow this order of operations precisely or it's not going to work right. You must open the camera and switch it to video before you plug in the adapter to the phone. You have to have it unplugged. So once you've opened the camera and switched over to video mode, then and only then can you plug in the adapter. However, if you close the camera app, it's gonna break the connection between your audio interface and your phone, as far as the camera is concerned. So if you open a text message, if you close the camera and go to the home screen, even if you click on the bottom left corner where the little button is to see the video that you just recorded, the audio will stop recording into the video. Most likely what you're gonna get is a video that has no audio at all on it. Just to avoid that, any time that you close the camera application, disconnect the adapter, close the camera app, open the camera app, make sure it's on video, and plug the adapter in. It's a pain in the butt, but it takes a lot less time to do that than to go to post your video and realize it has no sound and then you have to redo the whole thing all over again. That's not good. I have only tried this with my Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 because that's the only interface I own. If you have questions about whether a specific interface will work for you, I don't know. But what we can do, what would be really awesome of us, 
is as you try a different interface, do me a solid, post in the comments which interface you used and whether or not it worked. So that way, those of you guys who do have questions about, hey, will my gizmo work in this situation? You can scroll down in the comments and try to see if anyone has had any success or not success with it. All right, guys, rock on. Look forward to seeing those comments about how you guys do with this. Everybody stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane. Rock on.